everyone, welcome back to the channel, Adelaide Toy Collector. My name is Chris, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we have got some awesome mystery boxes to open up from wonderful friends over at Quantum Collectibles. This is the uh, awesome, epic uh, customer appreciation box. Now, this the only way to get this box is if you had previously purchased a mystery box from Quantum Collectibles, these are $99 per box. There is a random Funko Soda, a random Funko Pop, and then one from the picture here. Have a look. Now, I won't ruin anything. I have seen a few of the YouTubers uh, put up some of their videos. So I've got some high hopes for picking something awesome. However, one of the YouTubers, and I'm not going to ruin it, uh, because my video may came out come out before theirs. I don't want to ruin it, but um, I do know of one of the top pulls that has been pulled by uh, an amazing uh, YouTuber uh, here in Australia. So unfortunately, I do know of one that I'm going to miss out on, but that's okay because it wasn't... I mean, look, it, was, it would have been great to get that one, of course, but uh, there's other stuff on the list that I would be more than happy to take. Now, this was a limit of two boxes per person, and of course, what did I do? I've got two. So let's get into it and find out if we've managed to get ourselves something freaking amazing. Of course, I love quantum collectibles. Love, 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 love quantum collectibles uh, when they give their lollies slash candies. Uh, otherwise, I get a bit crazy because I love getting the candies. Alrighty, let's start off with box number one. Like I said, there are two Funko Pops. There are one Funko Soda, and what I'll do is I'll save the Funko Sodas to the end. I'll open up the two pops. We'll have a look and see if we can pull something awesome. Fingers crossed. Come on, Funko Gods. Give me something. Come on, praise to the Lords, the Funko Lords. Give me something. All right, here we go. Now, shut up, plane. The joys of living near the airport. Okay, let's see if we're able to add something amazing to the collection. All right, so first things first, we do have a bag of lollies, which is always a good start. Thank you, Quantum. All righty, so let's see what we've got here. Let's have a look. We've got uh, the soda is Corito. Now, I don't have a common of this, but I pulled a chase. Uh, from uh, Quantum Collectibles uh, in a recent video. Now, the other thing too, I forgot to mention is that some of these boxes have got a random uh, a random gift voucher in them. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna have a look, because if we get a random gift voucher, that would be pretty freaking cool, but no, no gift voucher. All right, so box number one, let's have a look at what we have here. Now they always have a habit of really packaging these super awesome. Oh, crikey. I think I've done okay here. Oh my God. I think I've done, wow. Oh my God. OMG. Okay, let's start off with the first one. This is a con sticker. It is WonderCon Pink Troll. That has the official WonderCon sticker there as opposed to the shared sticker. That's great in itself. But we've managed to add, I would say, one of the top pulls from this run. I am absolutely gobsmacked at what I've just pulled. I can't believe, I, 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 just, I just don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. Um, wow, I have pulled, you ready for this? An autographed Funko Pop, but of who? I actually watched a video the other day where the greatest of all time, the greatest boxer of all time, sat there and said he was scared of this man. And that man said, don't be, you're the greatest of all time. Now that was Muhammad Ali, who said he was scared of this man. And I can't believe how awesome this is. It is JSA, or oh, 
Temple J JSA certified. It is none other than the legend himself, Mike Tyson autographed with a JSA certificate. I love this uh, boxing, uh, it looks like a sticker. It's in a hard stack. Um, it is sealed. Uh, this is just, I, I am blown away. That is freaking, freaking cool. Mike Tyson autographed Funko Pop. What a great start, everybody. What a fantastic bloody start. That has made my day. All right, let's get on to box number two. Like I said, we'll save the sodas to the last. We may end up with a chase, but I don't care. $99. For a box. So these two boxes cost me 200 bucks. And I've got an autograph Funko Pop. Oh my god. Wow, I'm just I'm I'm I'm, I'm just blown away. Alright, here we go. So again, great start. Lovely quantum collectibles coming through with the lolly goods. The lolly goods. Let's have a look. We've got oh, yes, we've got the black light mad hatter. Funko Shop exclusive, 5,000 pieces. I have the commons of this. I want, I want, 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 want the uh, chase of that. We also have two Funko Pops, which I'm just going to pull out. I'm going to check to see if there's a random gift voucher. There is not. That is okay. Alrighty. Now, let's... <laughs> I can already see what the hit is. I actually considered, I, 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 I sold it a while ago and it didn't even have the sticker on it. Um, and I made some decent coin on it. Um, it's now back up on Pop Culture as a re-release, um, but without the sticker. I'm really, really happy that I've now added it back to the collection because I did regret selling it at the time. Let's start off with the common Funko Pop, which is Druig from The Eternals. Now that has an exclusive sticker, Entertainment Earth, Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker just there. I have not seen that particular sticker on a Funko Pop, so it's great to add that to the collection. So that is freaking cool. But the hit, the hit of the box, and you would have seen recently, I did a pop culture box. Um, bloody planes. Okay. So I unboxed the from Pop Culture. They re-released, or they did a re-release of General Grievous. This is the other Star Wars pop that I wanted. This is coming with the Walgreens exclusive sticker. Um, does it have the year on it? Mm, I know it's a couple of years old, but I'm just so happy to add it again to the collection. And especially considering the series Obi-Wan Kenobi is coming out soon, I think this is gonna be one of those Pops that is going to go up in value thanks to that show. It is Anakin Skywalker with the dark yellow eyes. Look at that. It is cool. With the Walgreens exclusive sticker, that is freaking awesome. So we've added some amazing, amazing, amazing Funko Pops here today. Look at the sweet stuff we've got there. That is freaking cool. All right, now on to the sodas. Now, let's go with Kurito first because this is an anime one and I don't even know the sword art online. I don't even know what this is from. I don't do anime, but I've already got Chase. So if we get the common, great, that's fine. Then I've got a Tufa. I have a, a Toucan Magic. Uh, so let's just open that bad boy up and see what we got. Here we go. In true style, three, two, one, we've got just the common, which is fantastic because I already have that. And that's so one in 10,000 pieces. One in 10,000 pieces. Let's have a quick squiz at what Carito looks like. There he is. There. It is a he, right? I don't know. I don't want to assume the gender of the anime character, but... That is pretty cool. I think the chase had two swords as opposed to the one single sword that you just saw in that particular soda there. But the the one I'm I love the black light sodas. I did miss recently miss out on the look. What is this bloody random mall time of of airplanes? Will you shut up and go away? I'm trying to record a damn video here. Okay, so. Excuse the loud planes in the background. Um, I love the Funko sodas. I did miss out on the recent WonderCon, um, the Banana Splits release um, 
uh, black light sodas. I missed out on those, unfortunately. Um, they sold out on Pop Culture by the time I got there. Um, I have got the full set of these as single uh, commons. I did have a chase, but I made a trade for something I really wanted. So I'm kind of hoping I can pick up the, um, the, the the chase of the Mad Hatter because they are so cool. I think the chase is him with a green face, I think. But still, let's see how we go. And end the video on a super high, although, mate, <laughs> I've pulled some great Funko Pops from this. Now, again, reminding you, this is a Funko Shop exclusive limited to 5,000 pieces. Now, I believe oh, this is the international edition. So there was 5,000 international plus what was released in the US, which is fine. Um, let's, mm, okay, this one's the side. The Mad Hatter's stuck having a tea party inside. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, choose. And it is the common, but that's cool. Common is a one in 4,200. I will just open it up and show you anyway, even though I already have it on the channel and in the collection, but I will still show you because these are super freaking sweet figures. A look at the color of that. That is something else. That is great. I love the detail of the Funko sodas. Funko has done really well with the detail. The only thing I must admit, uh, especially with the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, one, is the um, the the image they put on here was very cartoony, very, uh, it just didn't seem right for that particular soda. But again, look, glad to add them to the collection. So, did you buy any of these mystery boxes? How did you go at home? Did you end up with some awesome pulls from your mystery boxes? I am super happy with what I got. May no chases for the sodas, but that's cool. I didn't want to chase that one. I've already got this one, so that may be good for a future trade for something else for those that missed out. But here's the fire. Dark Side Anakin Skywalker. We've got the Entertainment Exclusive, uh, Entertainment Earth Exclusive Eternals Pop. We've got the Pink Troll with the awesome WonderCon sticker from the con itself, not a shared sticker. And the autographed Mike Tyson. My God, that is some fire. Like, honestly, a JSA certified Mike Tyson Funko Pop. Now, I I, I I don't know what to say. I am blown away by pulling that. So what was your favorite Funko Pop from here today? Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Funko Pop was. And also let me know in the comment section below if you did manage to grab one of those Quantum Collectibles uh, customer appreciation boxes. Like I said, $99, that was awesome. And occasionally they do this sort of stuff for their regular customers. It's really a great way of giving back to their customer base. And it really earns that loyalty uh, and supporter base uh, to their company. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video now. I've run out of things to gas bag about. Um, thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Whatever you're hunting, happy hunting as always. We will see you next time. And one last thing before I go, I will make sure I put in the description box a link to Quantum Collectibles. Thank you so much. Hey. I'm gonna post this around Easter. I don't know if it's gonna be before or after. So if it's before, hey, have a happy Easter. If it's after, hey, hope you had a great Easter. Anyway, whatever you're doing, just have a great time. Be safe, that's the number one rule, be safe. Anywho, take care, and I better hide these before Nana Bubble Wrap gets her hands on them because I know exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna end up on eBay before the end of the night. All right, thank you again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Catch you next time as always, bye.